Hey everybody, Keith Hilson with the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music here. One of the things we get a lot of questions about is support systems for the instruments, uh, whether it's straps, whether it's braces, ways to help us hold the trombone. You know, there can be any a number of different reasons why. We know that a lot of bass trombones will use some type of bracing system because of the weight um, and the balance involved with bass trombones. Uh, there's a lot of folks who just for one reason or another have just need help holding the instrument. And so there are of course any number of different bracing systems out there in the trombone community. And they go for anything from you know, braces such as the greenhouse style brace or others that need to be actually soldered right onto the instrument, to braces that are clamped onto the instrument, um, to ones that are a little bit less invasive, uh, go on in different ways that don't, you know, substantially modify the instrument. So I'm going to be talking over the next several weeks talking about a few of these different options that are out there so you have a chance to at least to see these a little bit. So today we're going to start off with one of the most minimally invasive uh, options here, the Yamaha hand strap. Um, so this has been um, a popular option for a lot of folks because it first off is relatively inexpensive, really you know, around $20 or so. Um, it doesn't take a lot of installation work with it. Um, and again, for a lot of folks, it really does a, a nice job helping hold it without a lot of extra work involved. So again, the Yamaha hand strap, the whole idea here is we've got this end that goes around the mouthpiece receiver, loops underneath the uh, tenon for the, between the slide and the bell section, and then hand goes through like this. And so you're helping to, again, put a lot of the weight across the back of the hand uh, versus especially trying to grip it. Um, a lot of the bracing systems are either going across the back of the hand or, again, creating a brace across the bridge between the thumb and first finger here as well. Both places are gonna be a lot more supportive than for a lot of folks trying to grip it with their you know, last three fingers of the hand like a lot of folks end up doing on large four tenors with F attachment, bass trombones, etc. All right, so again, the way this works is we start off with our strap here and we're gonna take this and that loops right around the receiver like so and then the mouthpiece actually helps to keep that in place as well, make sure that the strap doesn't come off. And then we just take this and we're gonna loop it underneath our second valve system there. And that comes around like this. And so there's a Velcro uh, strap with this that you can loosen up to find the right fit for you. I end up finding I have to loosen it up a little bit. And so it goes through like that. And then ends up supporting the instrument like so here instead. So you're putting a lot more of the weight across the bottom here of the, you know, the tenon, the receiver, you know, versus, you know, having to grip it. Um, you know, I do have to say, especially when you do get it held properly, you know, get it all adjusted, it really does take off a lot of weight off of, you know, the, the palm and the bottom uh, fingers of the hand. Uh, a couple caveats with this, I have found that um, the the loop that goes on the uh, mouthpiece receiver does not fit on everything. In particular, uh, those instruments that um, have removable lead pipes, so for example, Shires, Edwards, Green Hall, among others, it really doesn't fit. Now, you know, I could see, again, because this is fully leather, um, I could see it stretching you, making it work, but it's not going to be an automatic fit with them. But, again, I think it is certainly an option for folks here. And again, there is a you know, nice liberal level of comfort. So if you're looking for a bracing system, um, if it'll fit on your horn, and you know, say, okay, I want to try something. Does this help with my playing? Does it make it more comfortable? I think this is at least a good first step to try out there. And depending what you like about it, if there are you know, some aspects of it you're not as big a fan of, then, of course, we know there are some other options out on the market as well. So, again, uh, if you have any experience with the Yamaha hand strap, um, you know, please let us know in the comments below. If you have any questions about it, let us know. Of course, you can leave comments. You can email us right at the Trombone Shop. Um, as always, think about giving this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, think about subscribing to our channel and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. So thanks for watching, everybody.